To write the Lewis structure for AlCl6 three minus, the first thing we need to do, count up the valence electrons. Aluminum, group 13, sometimes called 3A, that has three valence electrons. Chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons. We have six chlorine atoms. And then for the three minus, that means we have three additional electrons, three additional negative charges. We'll add that here. We add this all up, we get 48 total electrons for the AlCl6 three minus Lewis structure. We'll put aluminum at the center of our Lewis structure. It's the least electronegative element. Then we'll put chlorine atoms around the outside. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between each chlorine and the aluminum here. That'll form the chemical bonds. So far, we've used 12 electrons. In aluminum, it can violate the octet rule. So we're okay with having those 12 electrons there. Once we've done that, we're gonna complete the octets on each of these chlorine atoms. So at this point, we've used all 48 valence electrons and each chlorine atom has an octet. We said the aluminum in the center, that doesn't have to have just eight, it can have more than eight. So this is the Lewis structure for AlCl6-3-. We should put brackets around it since it's an ion and then put a three minus charge outside of the brackets. If we wanted to know the molecular geometry for this compound here, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six things attached to that central aluminum and no lone pairs. So if we look at this chart here, we have the steric number, which we said is six. There's six things attached. There's no lone pairs. So if we have six things and zero lone pairs, we have an octahedral molecular geometry for AlCl6-3-. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.